just started and already wildfires are burning in several states across the country. Evacuation orders were issued in Tennessee today as crews fought a fire just east of Knoxville. And get this, in Miami, Florida yesterday, a brush fire came within blocks of a neighborhood. In Miami, on Monday, another brush fire forced at least 30 homes in Oklahoma City to evacuate. Officials say at least one home was damaged there. In Carolina, two wildfires started last Saturday and firefighters had to call in air support to try to get things under control. Wow, it is only the end of March. The national preparedness level increased to two yesterday, which means fire activity obviously is on the rise. The Bureau of Land Management Great Basin Smoke Jumpers are currently training here in Boise. Meanwhile, Idaho fire officials warn fire season isn't just a season anymore. It could become year round. And as Idaho grows, agencies in the Treasure Valley are planning to step up their staffing, equipment and add stations to help respond faster and more efficiently. Tristan Lewis is here to explain how local fire departments are getting ready for an earlier and a longer season. Tristan. Yeah, Morgan and Brian, for years, people in the northwest corner of Boise have been asking for a fire station just closer to their homes. The area, which has been a fire coverage gap, Gap, has more development being put in the area. And while fire departments say the area is not protected, more services are important. And it's a need fire agencies recognize and are working to improve. As fire season creeps closer and closer, fire agencies are warning this year could make more of an impact than others. We're ramping up probably earlier than we ever have. And then we expect the season to um, last a lot longer than it normally does. What used to be just a season has now become a year-long event. Places like Boulder, Colorado saw massive flames in their foothills just last weekend. Surprising Boise Fire Chief Mark Niemeyer. You would think Boulder should be full of snow. If you look at our foothills right now, you can still see a little bit of snow, but that grass right now could burn just like it did in Boulder. So really for us, it's become a year-round event. A growing Idaho in a longer fire season is forcing fire crews to plan. The growth on the foothills that we're seeing and just everywhere in the area, it's always a demand on resources. Eagle Fire District will contract with North Ada County Fire and Rescue to start staffing the Hidden Spring Station in June. It's a facility that hasn't had a regular fire service for 20 years. Although it's not just for a wildland season, uh, we are excited to be putting that station in service for both EMS and fire uh, year round. Eagle Fire Chief Tyler Lewis says the station will have three firefighters 24-7. Equipped with a fire engine, a brush truck, and a tactical vehicle. It's been a long kind of project up in that area. Over in the Boise area, Boise Fire has been given the okay to create a new station. It'll be on the northwest corner of the city, off of Bogart Lane and State Street. We have bought the land. We anticipate construction to begin in 2024 with that station. So it is right around the corner uh, that we're going to get another station into that area to have a better response into the foothills. And while the two departments plan ahead for their own jurisdictions, they agree working with other local agencies is key to combating a longer fire season. We can have a multifaceted response to these uh, calls and then again in the wildland or urban interface area. And while these conversations are not new and Seven Investigates uh, did a piece about last October during that Grooves Creek fire, both agencies say they are still having conversations with city leaders on growth and how to better serve these areas. Boise Fire Chief says they're looking at expanding services south of I-84 and Eagle Fire Chief says they're keeping an eye on the northwest area of their jurisdiction and a possible reconfiguration of services at Station 2 on Floating Feather Road. Brian Morgan, lots of chatter just about what's next, but these agencies say those new stations just discussed are what they're keeping at the top of their minds for now. It, it is interesting, Tristan, wherever the growth happens, these emergency responders need to figure out where yeah. they're going to put their services and they just can't keep up. There's gaps everywhere. And, and the growth in the foothills is inevitable. Yeah, I mean, it's already exactly. starting to and, and you're looking into something that shows it's going to really start to spread out. Yeah, exactly. We're talking Dry Creek, Avamore, all of those areas in Eagle. So they'll have to cover their bases. Tristan Lewis, thank you.